I love starting little seeds in plastic fruit and veg boxes you can buy in the supermarket. They already have pre-made holes. Let me just see if I can tip this up so you can see. So they're just like ready-made for seed starting. I fill this up with regular compost and I've got loads of little munchkin pumpkin seeds that I saved last year when we had a munchkin pumpkin. And so I'm going to plant lots. I'm going to over sow them because I have that many. And as soon as they're little seedlings, I'll transplant them into their own pots. There is germination. It's just a week later and we've got quite a few in there. How exciting. My little pot is completely full now, so I think it's time to plant some of them out. This way I can at least thin out this pot. Look at all those roots down there. They're doing really well. So I can thin out the pot and then have a few as extra, just in case we need them. And the little place I have in mind for my pumpkin patch is actually this bit of extra space directly below my son's little tree house. He loves sitting up there in between bouncing on the trampoline. He loves getting loads of cushions and just sitting up there with books and just spending lots of time reading. It's such a nice relaxing spot. And underneath it we had sort of a wild area and so I thought let's just cover it with lots and lots of cardboard boxes and we added loads of compost and now we're going to just plant some pumpkins out and see how it goes. It's not as sunny as I would have liked it. Pumpkins usually like full sun so like six hours of sun and they will mainly get shade here but we'll see how well they do it's just a wasted spot i've also tried to plant other things like extra berry bushes i have oh and this beautiful hollyhock here it just um came up by itself it's like a volunteer and here i have a yosta berry i've planted from a cutting it's getting loads of branches and i think it'll fruit next year and we have some little beautiful um raspberries coming up here too so just lots of little wild berries too lots of fun but i'm going to get some of these pumpkins in here and just see how they do the fact that they're only munchkin pumpkins means they only need just over 90 days to to grow so they're a lot faster turnaround than huge pumpkins so hopefully they'll do okay in a shady spot we'll see time will tell I'm going to pot the last few up and keep them as spares just in case some of these ones get eaten by birds or damaged in other ways, snails or something. I'll also cover the whole ground with crushed eggshells to see if that can help keep the snails away. But there's lots of space between each of the seedlings. They like lots of space. <laughs> so we'll just see how they go. It's a fun experiment. And it actually looks a lot nicer now. So. I will keep you updated and hopefully I'll have a cute little pumpkin patch under the tree house. Here are the last few ones all potted up individually just in case I need them or can find a space for them later. I'll see how the first ones do in ground. So exciting! Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.